In the latest Mark Rober video, we saw several of the year two hack pack robots that we will be getting. I have a React video that we can check out at the end of this video to see four out of the six that they show on that video, and you will not be disappointed. In addition, I've been in contact with Dan Tompkins. He is the lead hack pack designer, and he has given me some insight into some of the other changes that will be coming up in 2025. That includes IDE upgrades. The Crunch Labs IDE will get several improvements, as well as the Discord will undergo some upgrades for that as well. Stay tuned for all this information that we can expect in 2025. For those that are thinking of getting the Hack Pack subscription, use my link in the description below, and you'll start off with the IR turret, followed by the Domino Robot, the Label Maker, and the fancy Sand Garden to make your life zen, followed up by Laser Tag, which you'll get two guns to be able to play, and finally the Balance Spot to wrap up year one. If you need any hack ideas, tutorials on how to do any of these type of bots, subscribe to my channel and you'll be able to see plenty of those, because that's what this channel is dedicated for. For the Crunch Labs IDE, the prominent one is just the user interface and the user experience. They want to improve that so that any beginner starting off can have the best experience possible, giving you more options, flexibility, and just overall being able to use it more effectively. One being several more web pages to be able to interact more with information as well as other codes to be able to connect with. The cool one that they're planning on adding to it is actually integrating their IDE with the posts on Discord that include hacks. Meaning, theoretically, you'd be able to pull up the code from somebody's hack on Discord directly on your Crunch Labs IDE. As far as the Hack Pack Discord, there wasn't much information about it other than we'll be needing to add all six of the new bots, which potentially means they'll find another way to reorganize it to make it a little better. And with it growing as much as it is, up to 9,300 members at this time, they may be adding some other layers or levels to who can interact with what and controls. Who knows, not exactly sure what is the plan there, but be on the lookout for some Discord changes, some upgrades in the near future. This is what you've all been waiting for. And let's swing over that, check out the React video to see just all the cool new robots that we'll be getting next year on year two. The other day, Dan Tompkins, the lead hack pack designer, dropped a note in the Discord letting us know about the year two hack pack bots. Today, Mark Rober in his video let some of them slide at the end as he is promoting the video. We're gonna take a look at those to see how good they are and whether or not you should keep with Hack Pack subscription year two. Spoiler alert, a definite. Spot the ones that are for year two, talk about them a little bit more, but then we'll also address the ones that aren't shown because there was one or two that aren't shown yet, one in particular that it comes to mind. So this is the tank plant. As you can see, there is a fake plant, by the way, to spoiler. I asked them, how are you gonna send live plants? Like, oh, it's fake. So <laughs> it is not a real plant. There is a moisture sensor to let you know whether or not you need to add water to your fake plant. But essentially, you've got a tank that moves around. From what I can tell, it follows the sun to make sure it gets the optimal light and makes sure that you know that it's watered appropriately. Pretty cool looking thing. Of course, you can do a whole bunch more as you're hacking it. If you don't want the plant, get rid of the plant and do a tank with other things like add the IR turret to it. But I digress, there are plenty of other things that we can do with the hack packs. Let's go ahead and move on to another one. Oh, that is another one. So this is number seven. You'll get this one first of the year. It is the card dealing robot. And an extra note, which they don't mention here, is you can use UV ultraviolet ink to selectively deal. Sleight of hand, you can rig the system essentially. So we'll see how that plays out. They obviously don't show it here, but in the notes that Dan put on there, we know that that is an option. Definitely it seems that there's potential different games that you can add to it. Slick little setup with it spinning around and dealing the cards. Kind of like the idea. I wonder if it shuffles. Ooh, this one is very interesting. You see the strings down here. 
So it's holding it from an angle, and yet it can move using those gear systems back and forth to draw the image. What's the limit on the image? What all can you do with this one? Um, this little piece there, curious what that is. I wonder if that is a Wi-Fi or Bluetooth adapter. The current Nanos that they use don't have Wi-Fi or Bluetooth capabilities. Upgraded ones do, but I don't know if that Nano in this one works. I'm curious. I'm curious to see what that is. Now I would imagine you can swap out the marker fairly quick, so whatever color that you want to do. That is a pretty intense build. A lot of wires. <laughs> Com compared to year one with the IR turret, when it's three wire packs that you have to plug in very simply, that's a lot. So they're calling this one, this is number nine. So it's the third one of year two. It's a string plotter string-based delta plotter which can attach to windows, whiteboards, or walls with suction cups and draw large-scale images. I do have some ideas. One of the guys in Discord and I were talking about this one and how we could have some fun with this one. You have to stick around to see what that is. Ooh, that is the animatronic lamp. That is box 12. So the last one of year two. Notes given to us is the animatronic lamp with savable poses, an RBG light control, and tons of personality. Makes me curious what all you are capable of doing with that other than changing color and just setting it however you want. Get your movement going. Fun hack, this could be your wake-up alarm. If you can get a timer set up to trigger when it goes on, and kind of like the Hugh Phillips lighting, they have the settings where you can set it to be your sunlight, essentially, where it will basically turn on. Well, this one, since you can move it, have <laughs> it move right over top of your face and just blast you. <laughs> Definitely one way to wake up in the morning having your animatronic lamp. Although it may not survive long if that's what you do with it. <laughs> as much as we like bashing our alarms, this, this would take a beating if you took it right in the face. Although, adding a... Uh, buzzer or any other type of sound amplifier to it would really make an intense alarm for the morning. Something to think about for hacks coming up. They're missing two of them. They're missing two of them. The other one is a laser synthesizer, a wavetable synthesizer, and a Bluetooth speaker. Speaking of, tie that to your animatronic lamp and you've got an alarm with built-in laser visualizer. The other one they were missing is the Omnibot. This one sounds cool. A three-wheel Omnibot forklift, forklift with an RF radio frequency controller. We finally have radio frequency. The best part about that is you can probably back hack, go backwards and hack any of your other previous hack packs with radio frequency now. So your IR turret, your domino robot, all of those could be potentially, with an upgraded hack, radio frequency or RF controlled. I would imagine they provide a controller with it to see how it works, and you just have to take the module that is the RF receiver and tie it into whatever hack pack you want. So that, I'm excited about that one, just have radio frequency. That has been one of the hacks I've been wanting to do potentially just by sabotaging a RC car and uh, making it work. But if it's coming in this one with a proper module and and the controller, that would be cool. So for year two, we know all six bots. It is the car dealing robot, the tank plant, the string plotter, laser synthesizer, Omnibot, essentially a forklift, and animatronic lamp. Definitely looking good for year two. So if you haven't subscribed, become a Hack Pack subscriber. You will start off with year one, year one, which is a good thing because you need to get started. You need to understand how it works to get the most out of Hack Packs. Because remember, thinking like an engineer is about developing your skill and doing that starting off at a basic level is very important. You don't want to jump to the top ones where you can't hack it because you don't know how to do it. Starting simple, getting the IR turret, Make sure you use my videos. I've got tons of hacks and tutorials on the IR turret so you can make the most out of these hack packs. And that's the big idea. 
Because getting to year two, hacking them even more enhanced, let alone back hacking to the other ones with the advanced stuff coming with year two is a big thing that you want to consider. And obviously, if you are a year one subscriber, renew. Make sure you have your auto renew set up. You won't have to do anything else other than just get year two coming in the mail automatically.